Last week when I was co-planning with my colleague, Jennifer, she and I got talking about the need for some way to make sure we're addressing executive functions during a lesson. Several of our students struggle with that, whether it's in our virtual environments or in brick and mortar settings. By the end of our co-planning lesson, we had created uh, the outline of a really great tool to help us focus on that uh, so that our students could be successful. After the co-planning, I kind of reflected a little bit on my experience and it dawned on me that I think what all of us as co-teachers want is to feel like our skills and talents are fully utilized for the sake of all students. Are you like me in that way? You don't wanna be underutilized. You wanna make sure that all professionals are really giving their best for our students. And so if you're like me in that way, then consider joining me for a two-day co-teaching institute that's coming up soon, where we'll be talking about just that, how to maximize what's happening in your co-teaching, not just get it going, but how to sustain it over time, how to improve it and grow it so that it's working as best as you can imagine it to be. I'll be talking about the common pitfalls of co-teaching and more importantly, how to avoid them. I'll also be talking about a step-by-step -step rollout plan in case you haven't rolled it out yet, but if you have something that you can use to evaluate your progress against and look for areas where you may need to tweak or improve things. And I'll be providing dozens of very teacher-friendly strategies that you can use right away to boost engagement, boost rigor in your co-teaching and to make it more time effective, time efficient in planning and then also in the implementation of your co-teaching. So lots and lots of ideas for you. I hope that you'll join me. We'll see you there.